We found your silverware, Lady Brackenstall. It had not been taken very far. Is that true? I am very thankful to you, Mr. Holmes. Your ladyship? We found your mistress's silverware. Oh, that's good news. You really are as clever as they say. Indeed. Inspector, I have recovered the stolen silverware. You are a wizard, Mr. Holmes. And where is it? In the garden well. Excuse me? Unique, isn't it? Rather absurd. What is the point of stealing silverware and then throwing it down into a well? Perhaps it was used as a temporary hiding place, or simply the thieves wanted to get rid of it. It is up to us to solve this mystery. Here it is. The shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London Line, and its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, they'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? your service, Mr. Holmes. I need a register, my young friend. If you could borrow it, there will be half a guinea for every one of you. I need the crew list of the Rock of Gibraltar in 1893 and their current employment. I'm straight on it, Mr. Holmes. Do you really think they'll find it, Holmes? My secret police is better than the Yard in many ways. Here it is, Mr. Holmes. But we can't take it back. It's too risky. Put it on the table. I'll take care of it. Good work, young Wiggins. This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. And these are the lists of the senior officers of the Adelaide Southampton London Line ships. Let us find out who was in London upon November the 7th. This list... This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know any... It's ...due to depart in two days. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. This officer is still at sea, 
therefore he cannot be involved. Captain Jack Crocker is our mysterious visitor. He was the only one around at the time of the murder. This Crocker, do you think... It would be interesting to meet him. Our young friend should be able to find him. Wiggins, could you find a way to bring this Captain Crocker here to us? Here? Holmes, that could be dangerous. No problem, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes, I was informed that you were looking for me, and I'd like to know why. Yes, it is important that we talk. You will soon understand why. You are acquainted with Lady Mary Brackenstall, are you not? Yes, I think I do remember her, from when I was first officer, but I still don't see... It seems your relationship went beyond that of mere passenger and first officer. How dare you? Indeed, how reckless a feeling is love, particularly if one is prepared to commit a murder in its name. Explain yourself this instant! You are aware that the murder made the headlines of the morning press. You read the newspaper report, but to your dismay, found it much fabricated. Once you learned that I wanted to see you, you came straight away. You needed to know what I had found. You? And what do you know? That evening, you were with Lady Brackenstall, despite the danger. I'm not afraid, Mr. Holmes. Besides, all of this is just guesswork. You would be right. If there was no evidence. What then? Lady Brackenstall was tied to a chair on the night of the murder. And it was you who tied her up. You call that evidence? Yes, as she was tied with a sailor's knot. Your handiwork. So, it's a sailor who's done it. That proves nothing, Mr. Holmes. I'm not the only sailor in London right now. Your theory is flawed, anyway. On the night of the murder, I was aboard the Shark. I was supervising the repair of a porthole. At night? It was an emergency. There was a leak. You can ask the ship's carpenter. He can confirm. I'm sure that he can. Perfect. In that case, we have nothing more to talk about. Good evening, gentlemen. Holmes, what should we do now? Would you like to check his alibi? No. There is no doubt that these men will testify in his favor, and there will be no way to check. So, what then? So, we must work with what we have. We have all the puzzle pieces. Now I understand why you dissected the bell rope.
Wiggins, could you ask Mr. Crocker to come here again, please? Right away. Why did you make me come here again, Mr. Holmes? It is over. I know that it was you who killed Sir Eustace Brackenstall. What? I know because of the height at which the rope was cut. The knife used was a sea knife. The knots were sailors' knots. And not least, the sheer force that was put behind the killing blow. And because you are the only one who knows Lady Mary Brackenstall in London. And because you love her. It's true. It is time for you to tell us the whole truth. I admit that I loved Mary madly from the first day that I met her. But I never did come to visit her. For I believed that she was in a happy household. When I talked to her maid who told me everything, I was insane with rage. I was due to set sail for six months away. I wanted only to see her again. But it turned into a damnable nightmare when he barged in. He dared raise his hand to her. He... He was not even worthy of licking her boots. Oh, I regret nothing. I admit I killed the monster out of love for her. She will forgive me if she is able. Lady Brackenstall already forgave you. She said nothing. Mary! But that makes her an accomplice as well as her maid. It places her in danger yet again. Mr. Holmes! You would not have managed to protect her. Till I die, do you hear me? Here is a letter that sets everything clear. And it is the one that should be disclosed to the police. I am the only culprit. Mary had nothing to do with it. Now it is time to end this. You should have let me die. How can I live if Mary suffers? I am sorry, Captain Crocker, but there has been quite enough death in this case. Inspector, I give you Sir Eustace's killer. He tried his best to perform his own justice. Well, I'm not surprised. Yes, it was me. I confess. Here is a piece of evidence that can be used in court. Perfect. A case that went smoothly for once. <laughs>